Hi everyone, good morning from Hong Kong. It's been a while, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I am going to a staycation by myself. I chose this hotel because it's new, um, the interiors look very clean and minimal, and it's spa. Everything around it would be rather foreign because I'm not very familiar with that area. I'm done taking care of my skin and it's time to pack up and get going. Hi everyone, I checked into my room. They were nice enough to let me check in earlier since that there's not many people staying today, I guess. Let me just take you around and give you my first impression. So let's go to the toilet first. It's rather clean, that's great. We have hair dryer, towels, I love that it's very clean so that I have space to put my own personal toiletries. They do have their own toiletries like standard stuff, body lotion, shaving kit, a comb, cotton buds, shower cap, cotton pad, like disposable ones, and two sets of toothbrush toothpaste. This is a shower. I'm not sure what brand they use. So there's two types of um, body shampoos. It's not disposable, they'll refill these. Apparently when you go to a hotel, I've seen these staycation like review and they will test out on what types of pillows they offer. Let me see if it's different. Okay, so this is a soft pillow and this seems to be a memory foam pillow so it's on the medium hardness which is great some hotels only give you one type of pillow thank you for supporting us to go green by refilling at the well smart water station located on the corridor of each guest floor that's great so i like this hotel more since that it has these kind of sustainability touch point so there are drinks here Standard, two cans of Coke. I don't like Coke. Maybe I'll take the Sprite and the tea. So that's that. I need to go get some food. I haven't had anything to eat as usual. And then when I come back, I'll do some work. Actually, today, um, my friend's gonna visit me here. I haven't seen her for a while. She's a model. Her schedule is sporadic. Hi guys, I got to the third floor and there is actually a nice terrace so I guess I will like to chill there and eat my quick lunch so for lunch, I got a quick bacon and potato sandwich, pre-packed, a mentaiko like rice roll, mentaiko salad onigiri for $15, $19, and then a pack of chips. Maybe I'll leave it later on because it gets messy with my hands. This is one of my favorite brands and this is the Honey Dijon flavor. And I'm not, you know, familiar with Japanese supermarkets. I don't think I have one near where I live, but look at these cute, super, super cute kawaii like 
mini soft drink. So this is something that I grew up with um, in primary school and early high school days. I think it's quite sweet. Um, we'll see. I'll give my honest opinions later on. I'll um, probably drink one of them now and leave one for tonight when I like chill, um, watch TV or like stream Netflix. So yeah, let's eat. Oh, before that, um, yeah, hand sanitizer. I'm pretty sure I can finish my meal in five minutes. I'm that hungry. I'm now with my friend Vicky. I'm socializing. I actually hate people, which is really true. It's not even funny. People think I'm so like social because I'm always so happy, right? Yeah. But I like being alone. Because at work, I deal with so many people with my kind of job. Yeah, some kind of stress really. We're now going to a mall that I've never been. Check Moon Shopping Plaza Shopping Mall Shek Moon Shopping Mall I think it's probably been like 20 minutes yeah. of walking I think it was like even three malls I couldn't <laughs> find food She bought some kombucha <laughs> and some chips After all that fuss, <laughs> the conclusion was supermarket food's the best. <laughs> I hope it's not so bad. Really, supermarket has been looking much better than any restaurant around. <laughs> and I'm trying to be eco-friendly, so I brought my own cutlery. <laughs> the rice is so dry. <laughs> I think it's okay to not repeat it. Rice won't be softer, right? <laughs> Feel like more tourists. <laughs> you know how I usually like to eat rice when it's hot? I add uh, I add their butter and mix with butter. This is how Russian eats. And the rice is so good, much better with butter. <laughs> you should try this once, I think you will like it too. My boyfriend liked it. He also was like, why my rice is yellow? I said, I added the butter. He, he was like, what? And, and after he tried, he likes it. So Vicky has a situation with the rice. <laughs> So it's dry, but then the solution is buttered rice. I mean, it's culture shock. I mean, in Hong Kong, we don't do that, or in Asia, it's normal in Russia, mm -hmm. or you, uh, normal families do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think every family adds butter to the rice. I think because the Russian they don't like sticky rice. Okay. They like it's like when it's with butter. <laughs> okay. What do they call it? Just rice with butter. <laughs> rice with butter. So uh, can you order that in the restaurant? No. Mm. And no. so it's a home thing. Rice yeah. with butter. Mm. Can't get it in the restaurant. I don't remember. I did that time. Oh, there was nice on the bridge. Whoops. Looking better now with some skincare. Pledge. <laughs> Good morning. It's 9.50. I think I will chill in bed for another 10 minutes, then start getting ready for the day. I need to check out on or before 11 a.m. I had a really good sleep. Which is surprising. I don't often sleep well in the hotel, especially since that I am quite specific with my pillow 
our friends. <laughs> The next day. Hi everyone, it's been a day since I've checked out of the hotel. I would like to take the time to review and give my feedback of my stay. Just to remind you guys on the room that I chose to stay in, it's a superior room, one queen bed for one person. I bought this on Expedia.com with some of the points that I've accumulated it came down to around 630 Hong Kong dollars. While during this day, I wasn't able to experience all of their facilities. First is because I didn't have the time or I was not interested. And second of all, they closed certain of their facilities due to social distancing purposes. Mainly during my stay, I stayed in my room and also had a quick lunch at their outdoor terrace first thing was that they allowed me to check in earlier than stipulated. Secondly, I asked the staff on whether it was possible to get an upgrade. She did kindly check for me and I was entitled for an upgrade that day but she mentioned that the room is a bit more spacious yet the view is not as nice as the one that I booked, so I still stayed in the room that I originally purchased. For the two days, one night that I've stayed in the hotel, all of the staff that I've interacted with were very nice. I wouldn't say overly nice, I think they did their job, polite, and I felt comfortable. In terms of cleanliness, I'm very, very, very happy with the room. As I get older, I'm more conscious about my carbon footprint and what things I can prevent using. On each floor, there are designated water machines where you can refill your water bottles. Lastly, about what I liked about this hotel, there is a river just right across the view from my room is really nice. There is a mixture of city landscape and nature and there was a lot of green that I could see. So comes to things that I did not like or felt like something you should make a note of if you do consider staying in this hotel. So I did call um, front desk and ask about recycling a recycling station and I do not think they have designated area for recycling. Um, I specifically asked on whether I could recycle glass. They said no. I guess maybe they do recycle plastic bottles. Um, within each room, like there is a compartment within your rubbish bin that has this recycle logo, but it doesn't tell you what kind of materials they recycle and how they separate trash. So that's something that I feel like they can improve on and it's not something that's very hard to implement. Secondly, I'd like to talk quickly about the amenities. I was a fool. I thought I left my phone charger at home and just was like, frantic about it because my friend was coming and it only had 13% battery. I did call down the front desk again and ask if they had a type C phone charger for androids um, and they politely replied saying no. They did give me a solution saying that near the cafe or lobby area there are phone chargers that you can rent but I was not able to use that service because they only accepted online payment. So it was like Alipay, WeChat Pay, that kind of stuff. So this is the end of my YouTube video on Alva Hotel at Shatin. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna try my best to do more content. Uh, I definitely would be doing more staycation reviews because we won't be, at least me, I won't be planning to travel abroad anytime soon. 
First of all, I would like to save money. Second of all, it's just still not the safest time to travel. And I'm sure there's like a lot of limitations. Uh, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for more related content, lifestyle content. I definitely want to do more um, sustainable related topics and also just highlight my expertise which is fashion and the modeling industry and what it's like to be a freelancer so thank you so much for each and every one of you streaming this